I was just reading about the year 1988. So, of course, that means we're going to do our very first episode of Quick History. Let's see if you can keep up. Back in the 1980s, the Imagineers wanted to have another pavilion over at Epcot Center called the Movie Pavilion. Now, Michael Eisner said, Why not just turn it into a whole park? So it opened up 31 years ago today with three attractions. There was the Studio Backlot Tour, the Animation Tour, and of course, the Great Movie Ride. Now, in order to actually pull this off, they decided to pull together and team up with MGM, a completely different film studio making Disney MGM Studios. Now, when they first opened, and actually before they opened, they actually use it as an actual real studio lot. Before you had things like YouTube, Blu-rays, or DVDs, there was no way for you to actually know how they made movies. So the entire idea of this park was to have it so you go in and actually learn how a movie is made while actually watching a movie be made. So shortly after the entire park was built, they started to add more and more shows and attractions, things like Indiana Jones' Epic Stunt Spectacular, Star Tours, Muppet Vision 3T, Here Comes the Muppets, and so much more. Now in 1994, they decided to have the first big expansion, Sunset Boulevard. Now along with Sunset Boulevard, they had the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, the first thrill ride. And in 1999, they would also add in Rock and Roller Coaster, starring Aerosmith. While all these thrill rides were being created, there was one problem that was going on outside of the parks, and that was DVDs. DVDs started to show behind-the-scenes glimpses of how different movies were made, which causes a huge problem for a theme park that's focused on showing people how movies were created. Now, because of this, things like the Studio Backlash Tour were cut short, the animation building was cut a lot shorter, and there was not as much to do about behind-the-scenes things. So Disney had to think about a new direction to go with the park. Now, while Disney was focusing on this new thing, MGM said, you know what, so long, we're not going to be around here anymore. So all of a sudden it became Disney's Hollywood Studios opposed to Disney MGM Studios. Now around the same time when the Studio Backlot Tour was being demolished, or not all of it demolished, but part of it was demolished, they decided to bring in Lights, Motors, Action, a brand new stunt show from Disneyland Paris. So for the next 10 years, not much was actually happening over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. It just kind of stayed in the same way, shape, and form. It was still the Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, Voyage of the Little Mermaid, Lights, Motors, Action, Star Tours, Indiana Jones, Epic Stump Spectacular, but there was nothing really happening. But then in 2013, Disney released a massive hit called Frozen. Maybe you've heard of it? Now, Frozen brought characters like Anna and Elsa into everyone's home. However, when they started to see the popularity of this film, they decided to kind of do a huge transformation of Disney's Hollywood Studios and pretty much turn it into a solely Frozen theme park, which led to something huge. Now, with all the Frozen things and all the hype and having it so they could actually see that a lot of people are going to flock to one park when it's solely based around one item, they decided to open up two brand new lands, Toy Story Land along with Galaxy's Edge, which pretty much brings us back to today. Now, I know this was a quick history, but that's the name of the segment. It's quick history. If you enjoyed this segment of quick history, let me know down in the comments below on what type of history you would like to know next in a quick fashion. Of course, there's so much more stuff that we can talk about with Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're just going to do that in the future sometime. I don't know when, but we're going to do it. As always, if you like this content, make sure you are subscribed to us right down here on this channel. And until next time, we'll see you guys all a little later. Bye-bye.